I had it in it at the start, this one. You know, you can talk and talk and talk to your mates about shit, but when you're in a bit of an echo chamber, it doesn't really help. I think sometimes you just need to go to the public and be like, help them. Not help, but. I don't know. I. I got a lot of harsh comments on my last video. And, you know, they make you think. But I think it always makes me think when I read all these things. Like, what am I saying wrong? You know, I've been cancelled before for saying what I mean wrong. And... You know, I try and explain what's going on in my brain and it never seems to come out right. Like everybody's like, you're an asshole. And I'm like, it, it, okay. And then I ask why and then they're like, what do you mean? I'm like, I genuinely don't know. Like, like I, um, I expressed that I got a doll, and it was a, it's a doll that I've never, I've never gotten a, gotten one of. So it was quite a shock. I was a bit like, whoa. Um, like I was saying to someone, Casey or Seth, yesterday, the day before, like I've got so many different companies now of dolls. I've got like LOL, um, now Rainbow High, Monster High. Disney, I love you forever, Barbie, <laughs> in like even just one of, it's still like so many different, and they look kind of mental next to each other, <laughs> and not in a bad way, like, did what I just say, was that, was that wrong to say, is that okay to say? Like, I, I feel like I'm just expressing a fact, and then people are like, why would you say that? And I'm like, okay, like, it's not necessarily a bad thing, I'm just expressing that they all look really different next to each other. But yeah, like, I, I sat here the other day and I said to, I can't remember what I said now specifically, but I must have said something like, I, I don't... I, I've never had a rainbow high doll. I don't have any of them. And then I think I said something like, because uh, she's a shadow high doll. The, the rainbow high dolls kind of freak me out a little bit and I've been trying to figure out why. Um, but the shadow high ones don't. Like, there's something to do with the colour and because they've got like coloured eyes. If, like, the yellow doll has, like, yellow eyes and the green doll has green eyes and then, you know, I don't know, the the, the ones that are in colour freak me out a little bit, whereas the, the ones that are in black and white, I think are quite cool. I think it's because they're not trying to be natural, they're just, they look crazy and they're trying to look crazy, do you know what I mean? Again, not a bad thing. Um, but yeah, I, I said that to my mum. That like 
So I think the like the Rainbow High have always freaked me out, but um, when I'd seen the Shadow High ones, I thought they were quite cool. But I never, I've never gotten one before. But she's quite cool, you know. She's actually really cool. Um, but it's like crazy that you, I, I don't, like, I don't know. I just thought it was interesting, and then I asked Casey, was that like a wrong thing to say? And then they were like, kinda, and I was like. But why? And they were like, because it's something that should just kind of go unsaid. And I don't know. It's hard to understand. It's hard to. Like, everybody is saying, oh, I'd be grateful for this. I'd be grateful for what you got. I only got a card and I was grateful. And it's like, of course, I'm very grateful. I'm extremely grateful for everything I got, you know, like, that's not, that's not what my issue is, you know, I think I've said this almost every year that, that she doesn't really get me stuff that I have liked or do like currently, you know, she gets me stuff that I liked when I was 10, you know, and I, and I just, I just wish she would ask or we could hang out more. Or I could, you know, express about the dolls that I like and her not be like, all right, I don't want to know. You know, if I could sit and go, look, look, here's my doll. Look, the, look, they got, they released this and this and this for her. And, and, and look, the, I got this for her and I made her this. And, and the, look, I put them in this position and look at this cute photo. If I could express those things to her, she'd know what sort of things I was into, you know, if I was like, look at all the things I've made but she just doesn't want to hear it so then when it comes around to like my birthday and Christmas she's like they liked that when they lived with me so probably still do now you know like I'm very grateful for everything I got and I'm very grateful in the moment you know I turn around to her and I'm like thank you so much you know she's like it's that good and I'm like yeah 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 or you know like I'll say, oh yeah, no, it, it, I, I grew very afraid to say it's the wrong size because she'd flip out when I was a kid. But I said, I'm not this shoe size, I'm actually a size bigger, those aren't going to fit. She would have started screaming, she would have, nah, 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 this was so right, blah, 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 blah. So I learned to like not really complain, you know, even if it was fully the wrong thing, I would just be like, thank you so much, you know, and I'd put on the thing and I you know I tried my best to be I put on the act every year you know and I get something that I I'm like oh this again thank you thank you so much Merry Christmas thank you thank you but also like I think my biggest qualm and that I'm not very good at explaining and I'm going to try my best to explain clearer I guess is that like I I'm the only one with such a big pile you know and it's so much pressure you walk in and you're the only one my uncle has like five or six presents my aunts have like even less because they're not blood related you know I walked in and Seth's pile was like this compared to mine which engulfed the whole chair to the point where nobody had anywhere to sit it was like and it's it's so much pressure and I'm so grateful for everything but I'm the only one that gets spoiled like that you know and I and I that's why I come to you guys I don't turn to her and I say get me less shit because she clearly enjoys it you know and I I come to you guys and I say how do I how do I get her to get me less? Because I have a lot. I don't need, I don't need 50 presents, you know? I, I don't, I don't need everything, you know? I feel like she feels that she has to get me everything, which then means next year there's nothing for her to get, you know? And it's like, slow down. Whoa, slow down, Maurice. Like, one year my uncle got a tree and got some tree trimming tools and he was so happy with that because it's like there's a lot of thought put into it but also it's just 
people are like, what did you get? And then you go, I got a tree. And then you're like, oh, that's really sick. And then you're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, then they leave you alone. <laughs> they don't keep going at you. Like, because after everybody's done, finished opening theirs, I'm still opening mine. And everybody sat there, like, and everybody walks in and they go, wow, look at your pile. Wow, you done well every single time. And it's not a genuine, not a genuine, wow, wow, you've got loads. Wow, well done. Like, I'm really happy for you. It's a, it's a, hmm, wow. I think your mum's gone a bit overboard this year. Again. You know, I feel like every year they probably go home and they're like, God, Rebecca had a large pile again. God. You know, like, they probably don't feel great about it either. And I just wish that there was an easy way to express to my mum that she doesn't have to do this to me. Like, I love it and I'm grateful. I love everything she gets with. I'm, I may not be, like, I may be disappointed in the moment because I was hoping for something that I didn't get. But, you know, you get over it. It's not the point. Um, like, I didn't, I wasn't like, where's my shit? You know, I didn't kick off to her. I didn't, I didn't like anything, you know. The meltdown happened later because the plans got changed on me like four times and then and then I was just getting bossed around and given 50 different instructions and I'd been up since six and had a toothache all day and by that point I just snapped you know and it wasn't anything to do with my presence or I don't know I didn't I didn't mean to just go on a defending rant about Christmas just that yeah I don't I just it's like I uh I, I wanted to, uh, I, got, I got a squish, I got a squishmallow, very cute, very, very, very flat when I got it, <laughs> we got out of the box and it was like, I was like, whoa, you need a, you need a pluff, a plump, a little bit of a fluff, so he's a little bit better now, he's a lot, well, he, wow, it's a lot better now, it was literally like, some, must have been like shipping or something. But yeah, we got a we got a squish, and I was like, hmm. I wonder why. You know, I wonder why, a cake, because there were like hundreds of squishmallows, like, like too many, <laughs> like there's loads of animals, loads of foods, there's loads of all sorts, you know, mythical creatures and everything. So, I I wanted to ask her. I was like, why? why cake but like i i don't want it to come across as like why did you do this it's wrong why would you get me this one it's wrong you know so i'm like don't take this in the wrong way at all i really love her i i just was really curious why did you choose a cake like was it because you were drawn to her like was it because it's the food or like something remind you of me or like what was it was it was it i'm just curious but like don't take this in the wrong way and she was like i just liked her and i was like yeah that's cool that's a cool answer thank you i don't take it bad like i just i just am a curious being and i have questions and i have thoughts and interesting things pop in my brain and i like to express them and i don't know which ones are okay to express so which ones are not like me saying hmm i wonder why she got that and asking is that rude me saying to her you know, I used to get freaked out by the Rainbow High Dolls, but you got me a Shadow High Doll, and that's really cool. I really like her. Is that rude? Because, like, in my brain, it's not. In my brain, that's, like, something that, like, is okay to say. You have been having a crisis, if you can tell, since Christmas. Between them. Just, uh, yeah, I think having a, having a I, I've managed to like hold it down my whole life in front of certain people, 
some people it would kind of slip out not slip out but I was very vocal about my clothes and my food with my mother because my mother would submit to me like she can say all this, oh, you were a perfectly normal child and stuff. But I think it was because she just allowed me <laughs> to do all this. She was like, yeah, it's normal. And it's like, girl, you had one kid. How, how are you going to know? <laughs> but um, I never would kick off at my grandma's obviously you know I tried you ever living with cats you just get random <laughs> fluff on face all the time in eyes on face much but yeah I managed to keep it all under wraps and my grandma's I would escape and run away and not let it explode in the house but I think because I was so trapped I couldn't like walk anywhere I couldn't get in my car and drive away I couldn't do anything it was just like I am trapped ah But yeah, I think since then and since since that, I've just been like I don't know, dying inside. Just I just want to curl up and die. I feel like the way people looked at me has changed their opinions of me. You know. I feel like, yeah, I don't know what I'm trying to say. It's just a shit show and it's left me so fucked. But like, I need you guys to like, let me know. Need you guys to let me know if my examples make sense. If you understand what I'm like trying to ask you. If I'm just being a whingy baby. Because like I genuinely, like I keep, like I'll say, I'll ask Zev and she'll be like, no that's fine. And I'm like, but you're very clearly autistic. Like there's no way. This isn't like something mean. Like, we would say that to each other. Um. Where'd my light go? Come back. Um, so you're like, yeah, you're not going to know what is normal social cues. If I don't know what normal social cues, like, we neither of us are going to know. We're not going to be very good advice for each other. So then I'll ask Casey, and Casey's like, yeah, it's definitely rude. And I'm like, okay. It, you know. So I thought I'd ask you guys any of you who are still here and willing to listen i've been losing lots and lots of subscribers still just dropping and dropping every day i open it and there's more gone there's more and more and more and i don't know what to do about it i don't know what to do to rectify it or I don't know where you are for me. I'm still like really soft off by YouTube. Every video I upload gets immediately like not demonetized, but the yellow one. So I feel like my channel's just kind of dying, which really sucks. I feel like I'm just losing everything. Like I would, I, I, I've lost everything else slowly. Friends, family, support network, 
and everything and I feel this is slipping away from me too. So what can we do? Happy New Year, I guess.